right, we're going to go to New Haven, Connecticut with Miguel. Hey, Miguel, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Great. What's going on? Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Uh, so I am about to be 37 years old, and uh, I'm finding myself in a pretty overwhelming situation. Uh, I've got about $500,000 in debt that has uh, accumulated. It comes a, It's a mix of IRS debt, uh, student loans, credit cards, and auto loan. And uh, I'm making $87,000 a year um, on my income and about seventeen fifty a month on disability. Uh, so I'm finding myself in a situation now where it's all kind of falling on my lap. Uh, I just put together my very first budget at 36 years old using the Every Dollar app. And I'm coming up short. Um, I'm not really sure where to go from here. So I looked into bankruptcy, Chapter 7, Chapter 13, um, and I got off the phone with a law agency uh, earlier today. They said that I would probably qualify for Chapter uh, 13, um, but my income, I guess, is is too high uh, for Chapter 7. Um so I'm just kind of looking for some guidance, uh, looking to see what my best option would be, uh, where I could get some free advice, uh, if there's any, um, see where to go from here. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Are well, you, I can um, hear that in your voice, man. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you married? Yeah, have kids? Little overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I have one child, uh, I'm divorced and, uh, I've been through two separations, which have, you know, they've kind of led me to this situation financially. Um, so yeah, I've what, got a little bit on my plate. Well, yeah. What do you, what do you do for a living? I am a nurse practitioner. Okay. Awesome. So currently I'm in a residency program, um, and they're only paying $87,000 a year, uh, because I'm in a learning phase. This is a one year program. After this, if I decide to stay at the VA, I'll go up to about 110000 uh, if I decide to go outside of the VA, I will make more money, but uh, in the end, I'll lose, you know, retirement benefits and, and you know, free health care for life, everything that comes with being a federal employee. So that's another question, whether I should continue to work at the VA and bank on those benefits or, you know, seek employment elsewhere and try to make as much money as fast as I can. So what I would tell you is um, you're drowning, right? And you know that, right? Yes. Um, yep. here's, here's the analogy that might not be perfect, but the analogy you just gave me is I want to stay in the water because I've got this life raft here versus I'm going to start swimming to shore and I'm going to get out of the water completely. And what feels safe long-term eventually, if you will, um, may ultimately sink you because you're, you, you don't have enough money here. This makes me happy that you're in a one year program. Okay, because you're going to at least double your salary and absolutely you're going to get out of the VA and go out to the open market and work and you're going to be able to, be, being a nurse practitioner, man, you're going to be able to make a great salary and you're going to have to just start slowly grinding this thing away and you feel like you're 100 years old, you're not. You're absolutely not. Um, what uh, You said you you got disability. What's your disability from? Are you a veteran? I am. Yeah, okay. From my time overseas. Awesome. Um, so you've got disability on top of your 87? Uh, correct. Yes. Okay. So uh, total gross income uh, is 108. Okay. All right. Great. So the chances of you coming out of here and getting 160 or 170, what's that? What's what's the feasibility in your market? Uh. I mean, if I were to take travel contracts, like a local tenant position, yep. I can probably get that. They would be, you know, multiple short-term contracts, which I've done as an RN uh, to make ends meet, you know, with the COVID crisis. There you go. So um, I'd probably do the same thing as a nurse practitioner. So what I want you to step back and look and say, okay, 37, I'm going to be 38 when I'm out of this program here. If I put myself on a four and a half or five year plan and I worked backwards, what kind of contracts would I have to take over the four and a half to five years? And will you be tired? 
absolutely you're going to be exhausted. But what would it look like to pay this debt off, settle some of this with the IRS if you can, settle some of this with your credit card company if you can. You can't settle those student loans. You're, those are just weights you're going to have to tread water with. What would it look like? What would I have to earn to be able to reverse engineer this? And my guess is at $150,000, $160,000, $175,000, this becomes a lot more surmountable with if you've got a plan. You're experiencing, Chris, you can speak into this. You're experiencing, Miguel, with so many folks, and whether it's $500,000 or $50,000, is that initial shock when you see a budget and you think, oh, no, this is forever. And I want you to know it's not but it's a matter of these baby steps as you walk and walk and walk. And you've got a pacifier with the feds and you're going to have to let that go. And you're going to have to work like you thought you were busy when you were younger in the service. You're going to have to work like you haven't worked. But man, at that salary, at that level, you've got a big shovel. You'll be able to dig out of this quicker than you think. And just, and the key to this is while, while you're making good money and you've put in the work to do this residency and all those things, it's going to be really tempting to be like, well, I deserve X, Y, Z. You've got to live on nothing. Yeah. The the more you live on nothing, rice and beans, beans and rice, I mean, you get creative with every possible thing that you can to keep your expenses to an absolute minimum for a season. The more you can live on nothing and get that income up, like we're talking about, the faster you're out of debt. Yeah. And so you absolutely can do this. And one of the things that um, I want to make sure that we give you, Miguel, if you'll stay on the line, I'll have Kevy, Ke Kelly give you a membership, a year membership to Ramsey Plus, which it has our class in there called Financial Peace University. And you watch these lessons. And here's what's going to be so key. It's not only going to show you how to get out of debt, it's going to keep you motivated on the journey. There's an incredible community in there as well. And you can connect with those people. You can get inspiration, get encouragement, get teaching. You'll also have that budgeting app that we're talking about, which will sync with your bank. So watch those lessons and do exactly like John said. We've got to get the income up to be able to get out of this mess. But you can do it. And once you can yeah. see the plan, then you'll see how you can do it. So can I tell you this, Miguel? We just had a couple in a previous hour on today's show do a debt-free screen. And <laughs> they paid off $500,000. Oh, man. And what they say, they got they <laughs> got day. after it. One it, day. They got after it in in five years? Yes. And right after he was diagnosed. He was diagnosed with, um, with a... Parkinson's. With, with Parkinson's. And so wow. I'm going to tell you, wow. I just had somebody stand in front of us on the debt-free stage and they did it. Okay. Here's another thing I want you to remember. Um, tell me about your little one. Uh, she is nine years old. Nine she years old. And she loves to sing. That's awesome. So listen to me. This stops with you. Because yep. in five years, how, you said she's nine years old? She's nine. Yep. Nine years old, right? In five years, she's going to be 14. And she's going to have a debt-free dad who walks about seven inches taller than he is right now. And she's going to get to have a ringside seat to sacrifice, to hard work, to, hey, we don't have the money to go to Disneyland, so we're going camping. We're going to, uh, sorry, we're going fishing. We're going to figure this stuff out. We're going to hang out with Uncle So-and-So and Aunt So-and-So, and they live in this crazy town. And she's going to have a ringside seat to adventure and sacrifice, and she's going to get to watch her family tree change while she's in it. And it's because your sacrifice is not going to go unnoticed. So, brother, you're about to change your family tree, and your daughter's never going to experience this, and your why goes way past this scary moment right now. To your legacy, her legacy, and her kid's legacy, brother. So and congratulations. You, and you call us back when you're debt-free, and you're going to do that debt-free scream on this stage Absolutely. with us. And we're going to celebrate you because you're going to do it. And I can't wait to watch you do it. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for calling, Miguel.